guys! In this video I'm going to show you how to make these DIY crochet bikini bottoms. And these are really special because they're made with elastic, which means they're going to fit well even when they're wet, even when you're in the water. And I made this tutorial in a way that you could adjust it for any size, you'll just need to measure yourself. I also made a video for the top, so if you guys are looking for that, check the description down below. So to get started, we're going to crochet 10 chains. Then as a placeholder, I'm going to use a paper clip and place it into the ninth chain. Then crochet 3 more chains and then you're going to do a double crochet into the ninth chain where you place the paper clip. Now if you're a beginner, don't be intimidated by a double crochet, it's actually really simple. So you're just going to take your hook, wrap it around the yarn once, bring the hook through the chain, grab the yarn, pull it out of the chain, then grab the yarn again, pull it through two loops, then grab the yarn one more time and through the last two loops. Then just continue with double crochet until the end of the row. Then I'm going to turn it around so I can do another row by crocheting three chains, flipping it around, and then starting the double crochet again into the next stitch. And continue to double crochet for a total of four rows. So each of the four rows should have ten double crochets. And then on the fifth row is when we're going to start to increase the width of the bikini. So instead of doing 10 double crochets, we're going to do 12. So you're just going to continue as you normally would, except you're going to double crochet into the first stitch instead of the second. So you'll have two double crochets in one stitch. And then continue the double crochet until you get to the last stitch in that row. When you get to the last stitch, you're going to end the row the same way you started it, with two double crochets. So you'll notice that it's starting to increase the width of your bikini and that's exactly what we want. So just double check your work, make sure that there's 12 double crochets in that row because we're going to continue this method of increasing for 8 more rows. So it's a total of 9 rows of increasing by 2 double crochets each row. So basically you're just adding an extra double crochet in the first and last stitch of the row. Then when you complete the 13th row, you should have a shape that starts to look like this. So when you get to row number 14, we're going to start this row off a little bit different. So you're going to actually crochet 4 chains, flip it over, and then go back 3 chains and do a single crochet. Now if you don't know what a single crochet is, you're just going to take your hook, insert it into the chain, grab the yarn, bring it through the chain, grab the yarn again, and bring it through the two loops. Now after two single crochets, you're going to go back to doing double crochet until about three fourths through the row. Now for this next part, you're going to need a second roll of yarn. So take yarn from the second roll that you're not already using and make a knot around the hook. And the reason is because we're going to use it to extend our row. Insert the hook into the last stitch of the row and then insert it into the knot that you just made with the second row of yarn. And then we're going to join the two with a slip stitch. So we're just going to take the yarn and pull it through both loops. And then you're going to make 4 chains and cut the yarn. And then pull the yarn through and tighten the knot all the way down until the second chain. So 
now that we've lengthened our row, we're going to just continue double crochet until the last two chains. Once you get to the last two chains, then we're going to finish it off with two single crochet. And then you're just going to repeat what you did for this row for the next row. And this should leave you at row number 15. Now keep in mind that I'm doing this for a size small, so if you're a size medium, large, or extra large, I'd suggest that you add an extra row for each of those sizes. So once you complete the amount of rows for your size, we're just going to crochet two chains, snip the yarn, and then finish off the row with a nice secure knot. So what we just worked on is the front, and we're still going to add more height to it in a bit, but for now we're just going to flip it over and start on the back side. So we're going to take our yarn and tie a knot around our hook. And then we're going to attach our yarn. So we're going to do a little slip knot, insert the hook into the first stitch, and then insert it into the loop that we just made. Then we're going to pull the yarn through both. And then from here we're going to start off immediately increasing with double crochet. So remember that we're going to do two double crochets in the first stitch, complete our row, and then do two double crochets in the last stitch. And you're going to continue this method of like increasing for 23 rows. And keep in mind this is for size small, so I definitely recommend adding more rows for like bigger sizes, especially if you have a bigger booty, um, you definitely want to make sure that you have enough room in there. You don't want it to be all riding up and uncomfortable. It's not what we want. So um, I'd suggest about three rows for each size that you want to go up. So, so I'd consider this a size small with 23 rows. Add three rows for size medium, add three more for large and then three more for like picture large. Now the next row we're going to do differently from what we we're just doing. We're actually going to go back to the technique we learned when we're doing the front of the bikini where we crocheted four chains, flipped it over, and then did a single crochet into the third chain to the left. And then you're going to do one more single crochet and then we're going to return back to double crochet. Now before you complete the row, you're going to take your second ball of yarn like we did in the front of the bikini and we're going to attach it and extend the length of the row. So I'm just going to put a little placeholder with my paper clip and then I'm going to tie a knot around my hook. Place the knot right behind the last stitch. Go through with my hook. Pull yarn through both the knot and the last stitch. And then from there you're going to crochet four chains, cut the yarn, and then pull the yarn through the loop. So this will create a knot and you're just going to fasten the knot so pull down the knot and just make it really secure. And then you're going to pick it back up where you left off and just continue to double crochet until you get to the last two chains. And then for the last two chains, you're going to single crochet. And then we're going to do the same exact thing for the next row. Okay, so after you've completed that extra row, now what we're going to do is connect the ends from the back to the front. So for my size, I am crocheting 14 chains and then I'm going to connect it to the front. 
Now this is very specific to your size. So you want to try on the bikini and hold it up the way that it would normally sit. And then you're going to measure how much the gap is between the front and the, and the back. So um, I measured that and it came out to 14 chains. Now you don't have to worry about it being super fitted right now because we're still going to add the elastic in the next step. Then to connect the two, we're just going to place our hook into the last stitch of the front and then to the chain that we just made. Now we're just going to pull the yarn through both and now it's connected. Now we're going to start off by doing double crochet. actually going to continue to double crochet until you get to the other side. Alright, so we're going to connect the front to the back this time and it's going to be a little bit different from what we just did. So we're going to take our second ball of yarn, tie a knot around our hook, place the loop behind the first stitch of the front, and then we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch and the loop and pull the yarn through. And now we can actually start crocheting the chain and we're going to crochet the exact amount of chains that we crocheted on the other side. So for me it was 14 chains, but stick to whatever number you had on the other side. And now we're going to connect it in the same way that we did on the other side, but there's a little bit of a difference, so keep watching. So we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch of the back. Then we're going to place the chain that we just made behind it and pull the yarn through both. So everything's connected. Now the difference is that we already have started the double crochet with the other ball of yarn. So this one we can actually cut. So we're just going to do two more chains, cut the yarn, and then, like we always do, just pull the yarn through and fasten the knot and make sure it's secure. Now, from there, we're going to continue where we left off with the double crochet. So, using the first ball of yarn, we're just going to continue to double crochet all throughout the side and all the way back around to where we began the double crochet. Once you've done a whole row of double crochet, it'll lead you back to where you started. So to connect the two, you're going to insert your hook into the first stitch of the double crochet where you started, pull the yarn through, and then pull it through your current double crochet. So it should look like that. And then we're going to start a new row of double crochet. And this is going to be our last row of double crochet, and then we're going to move on to the last stitch. And once we've come back around with the double crochet on the second row, we're going to connect it the same way that we did the first. So the main shape of the bikini bottoms are done. Now we're just going to add the elastic. Now to get the correct measurement for the elastic, you're going to have to measure where you want the bikini bottoms to sit. Now an easy way to do this is to either try on a bathing suit that you already have that you like, or even just like your underwear, and while you have it on, just measure across the top band and measure it all around. Now when I measured where I wanted my bikini bottoms to sit on my hips, it came out to 30 inches. 
Now whatever measurement you got, we're going to subtract 10 inches from that measurement. And that's because the elastic still stretches and we want to make sure it's snug on the hips so that when we go swimming or when it gets wet and like heavier than normal, it'll stay put. So once you've subtracted the 10 inches, take however many inches you're left with and cut the elastic to that measurement. Now connect the ends by tying a knot, but do it in a way where you leave about an inch on both ends. Make sure it's super tight and secure because this is one of the parts that's going to be stretched the most. Now we're actually going to connect the elastic and we're going to crochet it into the bikini. So normally I put the knot towards the back of the bikini bottom and then I place the elastic between my hook and the yarn. And then from here we're just going to single crochet, but we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. We're going to do this all the way around. Make sure that you keep the elastic between the hook and the yarn the whole time. And this time I'm using a smaller hook, which I actually couldn't find the smallest hook that I have, which is why you're going to see me struggle a little bit. So if you guys can find a really small hook, it's going to help you a lot for this part. Okay, one thing to note when you're crocheting with the elastic, you want to make sure that you're pulling it as you go. So you're just pulling it like a little by little as you're crocheting so that the top kind of scrunches in um, or else it's not going to come out right. So make sure you're doing that. So once you get to the back where the knot is, we're just going to tuck in the ends of the knot and single crochet over it. Then after a few single crochets, you'll notice that it's starting to hide and you just want to continue single crocheting. Now when you continue, you'll end up back where you started. Once you do, you're just going to take your hook and come in from the back into the first stitch that you did. And then you're going to take the last stitch you did and pull it through the first stitch. Then crochet two chains, cut the yarn, and then pull the yarn through. And then like we've been doing, just push down the knot so that it's really secure. So the elastic for the top band is complete. Now we're going to move on to the legs. To start off the sides, we're going to tie a knot around our hook. Make sure you're using a very small hook. And then I'm going to start around this area. So I'm just going to put my hook through the stitch, put it through the loop that I just made, and then bring the yarn through both. Then I'm going to place the elastic between my hook and the yarn. And then just like we did the top band, we're going to single crochet with the elastic in between. And then make sure you single crochet twice into the same stitch. This is going to make it nice and thick so that it hides the elastic. And really the only difference between the leg area that we're doing right now and the top band is that we did not tie a knot with the elastic. So right now it's just an open string. And that's because it's pretty hard to find out the correct measurement for the leg area. And I found it to be easier if we just leave it untied for now and then just continue crocheting and pulling the elastic as we go like we did the top band. And then eventually we'll come back around and tie our knot close to where we started. And once you've crocheted your way back around, we're going to stop about 2 inches before where we started. And this is where we're going to connect our elastic by tying a knot. And then we're 
going to tuck in the ends of the elastic and we're just going to single crochet right over it. Then we're just going to finish it off the way we did the top gown. the elastic on this side you're just gonna repeat everything that you did on the other side all right now after that we're gonna finish it off with the very last step which is to hide all these loose strings that we have so what we're gonna do is take what they call a yarn needle and we're just gonna feed the yarn into that needle and then we're gonna hide all the loose strands so I'm just finding a place in the top band and I'm just going to stick my needle through as many stitches as I can. And once you have it through about an inch of stitches, just pull it through and then you can just cut off whatever's left. And then just continue this with all the other loose strands. So that completes our tutorial for the DIY crochet bikini bottoms. I also made a video for the top, so if you guys are looking for that, check the description down below. And the thing I love most about this bikini is not only does it look good, but it's also functional. When you go swimming or when you go to the beach, you can get in the water and not have to worry about this bikini falling off, not fitting right anymore, or like changing its shape in the water. It's going to stay this shape and that's because of the elastic, so it's a really unique design and I encourage you guys all to make it, change it up however it works best for you, and tag me in it. I'd love to see what you guys make, and it just really encourages me to make more videos like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to get back to every single one of you guys. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and hope you create something that you love.